It was back in May when students staged a walkout at Annapolis High School in Dearborn Heights, demanding to know why their popular principal, Aaron Molette, had been suspended. Shortly after, he was reinstated and the superintendent, Tyrone Weeks, was placed on administrative leave. All of it happening after the suicide of a student there, 14-year-old Selena Perez. They knew that she had a history of suicidal ideation, that she was under the intoxication of marijuana on the date of her death, and they still let her leave the school premises alone. The family of Selena Perez has now filed a lawsuit in federal court against the district, the superintendent, and Principal Molette. We think he should lose his job because he had advanced knowledge of her suicidal ideation and marijuana intoxication. And without notifying even her parents, at the very least, that contributed to her cause of death. Attorneys Brooke Mathis and Ali Kusan say on May 1st, Selena's teacher sent her to the principal's office because she appeared to be intoxicated. She was high on marijuana, but they say that's not what Molette told Selena's parents. The principal called her parents and he told her she he told the parents that she would be in trouble for tossing water bottles you know, flipping water bottles, something completely innocuous that wouldn't raise any concerns normally. But that was far from what was happening. The reality of it, she was intoxicated. She has a history of mental unwellness, and he had an obligation to not only report that to the parents, but to report that to the authorities. District policy mandated police be contacted and Selena be suspended because she was under the influence. That didn't happen. They failed to uh, comply with their own code of conduct, which would require that they report this. The attorneys say Molette had been Selena's principal in middle school and knew she had a history of self-harm. He also asked her to pull up her sleeves while she was in the principal's office, which he did not tell the parents. He was looking for signs of, of cutting herself, self-harm. None of that got related to the parents, though, and she was left to leave the school on her own uh, and fend for herself, essentially. About an hour later, her stepfather found her in their basement. She had taken her life by hanging. Dearborn Heights police have conducted their own investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death. The Wayne County prosecutor is now reviewing it for possible charges against Aaron Molette. We're not discounting the fact that he may have done right by many students. He, he, he was well liked. He's done right by many students and, and many parents, it seems so. However, that doesn't alleviate him of his obligation to uh, follow their own code of conduct. Attorneys not saying just how much they're seeking in compensation for the family, only that no amount of money will ever make things right. There's no quantity uh, or dollar amount you can place on, on your child's life. Uh, unfortunately, that's the only relief you can get from the courts in circumstances like this. Court filings ask for at least $25 million in damages. We did not hear back from the school district when we requested a comment. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.